Well, it's week four of the LCS right now. I'm joined right now by Xmithy right now. I'm just going to keep saying right now. This is also Hello. powered by Alienware right now. Hello. 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 You had to know this this interview was coming when you beat TL. Um, Did I? I haven't really thought about you, Travis. So I didn't really think about it. So. You didn't think like, at least a interview about it oh would yeah. be? I mean, usually when we win something, you usually get an interview. And none, none of my team really wants to do the interviews. Or like, I usually get be, get, get be like, Jake, you got to do it. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay. Which is funny because you have never wanted to do an interview yeah. in your life. I mean, it, it, that was the beginning, you know, before I was like really shy. Now I'm just a little bit shy. Yeah. So like, that's the reason why. So I now you like doing interviews? No, it's just this like. so good news for me. I'm so happy to hear you like interviews. I, I will request one, them. I can only do one every when, you know, so like maybe, okay. maybe no one offered. So like, we just wanted, we just went for you. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, you've been winning a lot lately, so if you do one after every win, you'll, you'll be doing a lot of them. Yeah, I guess I don't mind that much anymore since I don't have much to say anyway. Yeah. All right, let's 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 talk about Immortals because I can't do an interview with you without talking about Immortals. And let's, then let's get to the good stuff, right? The Team Liquid oh, drama. Oh, I th I th oh, the Team Liquid. Okay, I yeah. thought you were talking, oh, about, talking about something else. Yeah, no, no. Well, uh, we can skip that one for this interview. Anyway, let's talk about IMT. So first off, what has it been like for you joining this team? I interviewed you before the start. Mm -hmm. Of the team, and I don't remember what you uh, said. I someone's I gonna be come back like that's not what you said. Yeah, yeah. You said that you hated all the other teams and you would destroy them, and Immortals would be the top. Oh, I think yeah. I remember that. You did not say that. Yeah. People are gonna flame me for putting words in your mouth. Anyway, so uh, well, no, but what has it been like for you? Because it definitely feels as though the team is overperforming analyst predictions. Overperforming. Yeah, I think um, just I, I guess if you can base it off like scrims. And like how we play in stage, we're definitely a a, a stage team, I okay. think. Um, I don't so scrims, know. scrims not scrims, going well. Scrims are just like you know a training ground for us. So like, all right, time to, to uh, time to limit test for the whole week. And like we didn't even we don't even have like I don't think we've had one good day <laughs> with scrims since the start of the season. Okay. So like we just always like I guess we learn more from our mistakes, you know. So like I I guess that's how. We play much cleaner in stage, and um, everyone else, like everyone in the team, like performs much better. But I guess everyone's just like pretty relaxed when we're on scrims. So. What is it like playing with Ika and Soaz? Because they, in particular, I feel like took a lot of heat from uh -huh. the community. Um, I think it's really undeserved uh, first, um, but I just like playing with them. I guess um, for Ika specifically, I don't think I've ever. Like, he's, like, really unique. I've never had, like, a really vocal mid laner. It's always just, like, really, really good mechanics and just, like, try to follow the leader or just, like, yeah, just pretty much it. And then Aika is just, like, in the middle. Well, like, he's really good mechanics. And he also, like, talks. He probably talks the most out of our team. And, yeah, I guess it's, like, a pretty, like, new experience for me. And Paul is just uh, Paul. Like, Paul, yeah. Can you elaborate on how Paul is just Paul? I don't know. Paul is pretty funny, and uh, um, in in the scrims, like we usually just we don't we never. I don't think we ever argued. We just like say what our thing is, and then we and he says what his th thing is, and then we just try to like what's the best call here. And like he's pretty, um, he's pretty reasonable, I guess. So. So I got very distracted. Fed is walking around in a Bjergsen jersey I mean, with a camera, it. like he's working for TSM as like a video person now. I'm used to it. Fed is like. A snake. A snake? Yeah. He's a snake? Can yeah. you elaborate? I mean, he just he just does what he wants, I guess, but he doesn't care about, like, what other people feel, you know? Oh, like, look my at God. Worst guy Fed is that. a snake. I thought, like, we haven't won a single scrim was going to be the headline for this, but Fed is a snake. Is I mean, such whatever gets you the views, you know? Yeah, like, you. like, Fed probably has more followers than all of us combined, yes. so. Ex Smithy cameos in a Fedmeister interview. <laughs> then everything goes wrong. You wouldn't believe. Oh. Okay, but uh, do you do you feel as though is how are you surprised Immortals is doing as well? Because it's in scrims, it sounds like you guys aren't. I mean, if I was basing just off scrims, like I would be pretty surprised. But my goal at the start was like I think, like I knew that we can be like top three, top four. Yeah. Um, I guess now it's like a lot of people are having problems. I think we are too, obviously. But I feel like in stage i think we're much less scared and we're more confident than any other team and i think that's why we're like winning all these fights like all winning all these just like random games i guess 
But this one, I guess, is not pre-rendered. I'm talking about like the other ones. <laughs> yeah. No, I just, yeah, yeah. I love the yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. We keep winning these random games. Yeah. We keep ending up with these games somehow, and we just win. Uh, but this one, you felt pretty good about. It sounds like. Yeah, I think um, we got a really good game plan, and just like basing off like our champions, we we're all pretty comfortable in it. I think pretty much everyone was just like their core champion, except for maybe Nick, like his Thresh, but like it's still a hook champion, so the same thing. Yeah. So like everyone's pretty comfortable, and like. In scrims, we had a lot of problems just like communicating with each other, but in LCS, I guess like we're just like uh, we're just Gundam. I don't know. I don't know what anime, but like does the, you know they combine like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, That's a Gundam thing, right? Or Power Rangers? Do they oh, do that too? I think so. More. So yeah. I think it's like most uh, mech I, teams. Yeah, the mech, the mech animes, something yes, like yeah, that. Exactly. I don't. I don't watch animes. Ultron. 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 Yeah. It's like cartoon on anime, but yeah. yeah. Anyway, no. I so I did want to talk about Immortals, but obviously. And I apologize in advance. There's so much to talk about on the Team Liquid stuff. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I just want to get into that because I think you'll have a yeah, unique yeah. perspective. Okay. So in the very beginning of that game, you get first blood on Broxa. Mm -hmm. He's fresh to North America. He shows up. Kobe goes, welcome to the LCS Broxa on the cast. Did you smirk at all when you saw that happen? No, I think uh, we were just really surprised that because um, we knew what we were, they were trying to do. But like, I guess it was like, much easier like like to catch i guess like I, I guess like he wasn't really expecting it and we just got an easy first blood and yeah i think it felt pretty good because like i think we got a really demanding games like it's lee sin versus sejuani and then if sejuani gets to uh, kill early then early game is pretty much doomed because like you, you can never kill the sejuani yeah oh well i i don't mean did it feel good just within the context of the game but mm -hmm. also oh. i don't know if you remember this but you were on team liquid and then you weren't on Team Liquid, and now Brox is on Team Liquid, and thus killing Broxa in the beginning of the game in his very first, like the first three minutes of his onstage performance at LCS. Yeah, well, I'm not trying to make drama. It is an interesting <laughs> situation. Uh -huh. Do you, did you not? You felt you didn't care. I, mean, I didn't really think about it in the game. I didn't haven't thought about it. I feel like. Um, Are you thinking about it now? You, when you said, but like I still. Now that you're thinking about it, <clears throat> what does it do? It felt. It felt. Okay, it's like, you know, like if it was any other jungler, I think I would have been the same as like, what is this guy doing? Or like, like I think I think the I think no one really commented on it except for like at the end when Paul says like, welcome to NA Broxa. <laughs> like after we take the Nexus turrets, and that's when I realized like, oh, we're just like, Broxa has like been playing for like two days, so like we can't really make a good assumption that we're the better team right now. Like maybe right now we are, but they still have a lot to learn. But in the macro sense, okay, so maybe it wasn't that exciting in that moment, but in the macro sense, was it awesome to beat your former team? Like, it's got to yeah. feel good, right? Yeah, definitely. I think, um, like, I kind of know, like, a little bit of, like, habits of, like, every, like uh, of Team Liquid. So, like, we just tried to take advantage of it. And I guess, like, even with, like, Broxa in it, I feel like they almost play the same. Like, when they're behind, like, they try to, try to give up a lot. And, like, their cross map is, like, still not as good. So, I think... Having knowledge on them gave like a really big impact on it. Do you do you feel good about trouncing your former team? Like I know it feels good that you were able to use that knowledge, but uh -huh. I mean you were on this team. I think a lot of people predicted TL yeah. to be the favored team going into the split over you on an IMT, yeah. but you just beat them. So um, it's okay if you don't care. I'm just curious. Uh, I don't care. Okay. I don't really care. I, I mean, it is a very ex Smithy on brand thing to not care about beating your former team. It's it's just like you know, like um, we I have no bad blood with them. Yeah. I'm still good friends with um, everyone. Like, uh, yeah, like I I still I still want them to win, not like against us, but right. like I just want them to do well. So, and yeah, hopefully they figure out all this stuff. Like, cause since Brockta just came. Well, and so this is my final question. Mm -hmm. Do you have a diagnosis for their issues? Um, like, because you were on this team, mm -hmm. they're now losing repeatedly uh -huh. and stupendously. Mm -hmm. And I am curious if you know why. Um, well, there's like a plethora of things. I think they have a really hard time adapting to new meta. Like, they're always, like, when I, even when I was there, like, we, we don't, look up new champions or like we just don't play those champions that we haven't played like one or like two weeks at least of practice and if it just came out that week like they never really play it so like i don't know if they knew about the sejuani or like because like they just it's a new patch so like they just stick with the lee sin and they, like historically speaking i think lee sin sejuani is like a kind of like a bg for lee sin like after mid game so i think 
Um, they had a certain plan, but like I think it's like kind of outdated. Yeah. Okay. So you think it's it's meta that's holding them back? You said a plethora of stuff, and then you yeah, listed one well, thing. I, I don't want to say because I, you know, like I don't want to give like free info, you know. Yeah. Like um, like I've been with them for two years, so like obviously I know like what they sometimes need to work on, but. It's for another video, like I think, like in my premium channel or something for your premium for, channel for, for like team. Where can I really want it for like I don't know, like two hundred bucks? Okay, two hundred bucks. Yeah. Where can I find this premium channel? Ah, uh, it's not made yet. It's on a different site that I can't say. Oh, okay. So. All right, it's you're finding a distributor. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right now, like I'm just looking up offers, like a million here, a million there. So oh, like okay. I, I, I still need to work on it. Okay, good. It's still in the works. I'm glad. I'm excited to find out when we can get actual insight from you <laughs> for, for only $200. Okay, folks. Is there, is there anything you want to say to any of the fans out there? Um, mm, I mean, for the Team Liquid fans at least, like, I, like they just started, like, this week. So I'm sure they're going to bounce back. Like, they always had, like, a little bit of, like, weeks of slump. And for their Morals fans, like, thank you all always. Um, I know that there's, like, a dozens of us. Dozens of you guys watching, supporting us, so I really appreciate it. Well, thank you so much, Vic Smithy, for the interview, and, uh, and always good catching up. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things esports right here on my YouTube channel. Hey, I'm joined right now by Siver, uh, who is faceless, much like we are all faceless against the forces that keep us from having fun. But you can fight back against that. By winning an Alienware desktop and monitor, there's a link in the description below, alienware.com slash Travis. You can sign up over there. They're giving away the same setup that they use here at the LCS, which is really cool, by the way. Uh, also, LCS, oh, Travis Tenoff, Travis Tenoff, if you want to use that code while you're at that link, you can uh, buy something. You can save 10%. It's quite a good deal. Either way, thanks for watching this content, and uh, thanks to Siver for joining me. I, it's kind of weird she doesn't have a face. I feel like that's... Makes me uncomfortable.